Okay. So today we're going to talk about study abroad 101, which is a little bit of kind of the who, what, when, where, why, how type information about study abroad at Drake University. My name is Karen Williams and I am the study abroad advisor on campus. And I'm part of the Drake Global Engagement Office, which includes a couple different areas. So it is study abroad, but it also includes international student services as well as partnerships that Drake, Drake has with other, other institutions around the world. Here's a quote that I like. And then I realized adventures are the best way to learn. So really ultimately study abroad is about studying somewhere. Um, or there are other types of learning experiences as well. So Drake not only has study abroad, but we also have internships abroad, service learning abroad. Um, so different types of experiential programs are available to students who want to go abroad. Here's a little bit about the study abroad team specifically. So again, my name is Karen. I work with students on campus. So really when you're going through kind of the application process and exploring different program options, Typically, you're going to be working with me. Nathan Jacobson is the coordinator, and so his role is to help largely do a lot of logistics related to Drake administered programs. So if you're thinking kind of the J term programs and May term programs, Nathan does a lot of the logistics on that. So sometimes if you're doing a Drake program abroad, you might work more with Nathan. And then Maria Rohatch is our director. Our office location, so currently we're on um, 25th Street, which is kind of by Ghazali's, if you know where that is, but also public safety, communications. Um, but we plan on moving this academic year and we're going to be moving to the library. Um, so just kind of an FYI, depending on when you come and visit our office, we could be on 25th Street or we could be at the library. So why study abroad? I feel like this is a good kind of driving question as you get started with thinking about really, if you, if you know why you want to go, then it usually helps answer some of the other questions um, that come up along the way, which is oftentimes like, where should I go? When should I go? If you know the why, that's a really good driving question to ask at the beginning. So generally, I think one of the, like, the biggest whys is that study abroad really encourages students to find themselves. Um, so what this means is for a lot of students when they study abroad, especially if they do a semester program, it might really be the first time that the student is living completely on their own um, for the first time in their life. So definitely coming to Drake, starting at Drake is kind of similar in the sense that you're moving away from family possibly for the first time. Um, and so you're starting to kind of figure out who you are outside of the family unit. And study abroad is just even taking that one step further. It's helping you become more independent, to develop more courage and bravery and getting to know yourself better. Um, study abroad is also challenging, but really rewarding. Um, and again, I think that kind of ties back to that level of independence that you have in a study abroad experience. Um, it could be challenging to do so many things on your own, but then I think it also gives people a lot of pride that like they realize like, oh my gosh, I can do all of these things on my own. Um, you can take courses that are not available on Drake's campus. So depending on, um, you know, your area of study, different programs might be better suited for what you're wanting to do in the future. It can help set you apart in the job marketplace. So again, like having these experiences, um, having it on your resume can help kind of set you above other candidates who may not have studied abroad. And lastly, um, many students develop improved communication skills, leadership skills, decision-making abilities. Those are all things that um, students commonly state that they have improved as a result of studying abroad. Questions to consider when choosing a program. Um, so this is kind of just outlining again, like as a starting place, what should you be thinking about early on? So, as you're going through, um, you basically like your program at Drake, starting to think about what are my academic, professional, and personal goals in the future. And you really want to find a study abroad program that's going to enhance that. So even if you have maybe like a dream location that you want to go to, um, even within that country, oftentimes there might be a couple different program options. And so thinking about what those academic, professional, and personal goals are can help really narrow down the best university option for you um, while you're abroad. 
Um, thinking about world region, country that you feel drawn to, especially if you're studying a language can be really important. Um, thinking about how long you would like to be abroad, when you want to go abroad, those are also important questions. And then lastly, do you want to do an experiential program alongside study abroad? Um, or in some cases, it actually can be standalone. Some students go abroad during the summer and just focus on doing an internship only and not the study abroad piece. Um, the nice thing is internships can also, in some cases, be worth credit. So it's kind of nice that you can choose to do an internship either for credit if you, if you want the credit or need it. Um, but then in, sometimes students just really want the experience. And so they do it not for credit, which saves some money. Program options. So there are a lot of program options at Drake. And so kind of broadly, there are three program models. So we have Drake programs, which are typically either faculty or staff led. So again, thinking of J-term programs, May-term programs, um, that's, that's what most of the Drake programs are. We are increasingly doing Drake semester programs as well. And those also have either a Drake faculty or staff member going along. Um, so that's one model. Exchange programs is another one where we actually partner with specific universities overseas. And those students from those universities come to Drake and then Drake students go to those universities overseas. So in, in other words, you know, really kind of exchanging places. And then we also have affiliate programs, which are outside organizations. Those are really, the nice thing about those is that they offer so many different locations and majors. So it kind of helps fill the gap. So we have, you know, these Drake programs, we have exchange programs, but then if we have certain countries that students are asking to go to, but we don't have a Drake program or exchange program, our affiliates oftentimes fill the gap in terms of program options. Types of programs, um, so kind of below that. So again, there's study options, which is kind of the most traditional um, you know, method of going. And so especially if you're doing um, like a semester abroad, typically you're doing a study abroad program where you're er earning at least 12 semester credits while you're abroad. But then thinking about, do I maybe want to add something on like an internship, service learning, volunteering? Do I want to do research abroad? Um, for some students who end up in graduate programs, there are also pharmacy rotations, occupational therapy rotations, teaching placements. So there's even more kind of professional development opportunities as well. Program length, it varies anywhere from about two weeks to an entire academic year abroad. And then there's also many post-graduation opportunities. So if you decide that you don't want to go abroad while at Drake, um, after graduation, there's also teaching abroad, working abroad, and then there's different fellowships and scholarships as well. And then one other thing I want to mention is sometimes students are kind of nervous about going abroad because they feel like they really only speak English well and they don't have a secondary language that they feel comfortable using. And I want to make sure students know that many of our program locations, even in, you know, non-English speaking locations, there are a lot of universities that offer coursework in English. So even if you've always dreamed of studying in a place like potentially China and Italy, um, Argentina, there are programs that are available where you can, you can choose to study the language alongside taking elective courses in English. So that, that also opens a lot more doors for students. Academics. So with Drake programs, because they are Drake faculty led programs, they are available for Drake credit, which is very nice. Um, that means that they do factor also into your Drake GPA and you can easily see how the course is going to fit in your degree plan because it's a Drake course. Exchange and affiliate programs count as transfer credit and they do not factor into your GPA but the grades are visible on your transcript. So if you want to apply to graduate school at some point, um, be aware that the grades will be visible, although they will not factor into your Drake GPA. Um, with exchange and affiliate programs, you'll want to make sure that you meet with your academic advisor to get pre-approval for the courses that you would like to take abroad. And then lastly, if you can, try to save some AOIs because that gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of where you can go abroad. Um, as well as, but additionally, in addition to AOIs, you can take major and minor related credits. So don't feel like you just have to do AOIs and like gen ed stuff abroad. You can take stuff related to your major and minors. I like this quote too. Travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer. So kind of thinking in, in line of experiences that you're having 
um, that those things really contribute to your overall well-being. Beginning to plan. So making sure that you talk with your academic advisor early on, um, that's really important. So, you know, if you think about it at this point, especially being freshmen, um, you can start to talk with your academic advisor and then choose when would be the best time within your degree plan to go. So some students have very, very busy academic schedules and need to do a short term program. Um, but in some cases, you know, if you want to do a semester abroad, then if you work with your academic advisor, um, you can really decide what semester would be the best one to go abroad. Also talking with me, the study abroad advisor is helpful. Talking with professors can be helpful because they can have an idea of where previous students have gone. Talking with other Drake students who have studied abroad, that can be really helpful to start, as you start to kind of decide what location is gonna be the best for you. And then of course, discussing and reviewing finances. Um, so the financial aid office at Drake will review the program costs with you once you've decided on a program, and then they can apply your specific financial aid package to the program that you're looking at. We also recommend that students apply for Drake Global Learning Scholarships and potentially outside scholarship sources as well. So getting into that just a little bit more, cost and scholarships. So program costs vary considerably. Drake short-term programs tend to be the most affordable. Um, so that's really nice, but then it can be considered as if it's a short-term program, like a J term or a May term, it's really in some ways considered additional expenses because it's on top of the two semesters that you would have already been attending university. Um, with the Drake short-term programs, students pay the cost of travel, but they actually don't have to pay for tuition because it's included in semester tuition. So that part is a big money savings. So if you're thinking about doing short-term programs, um, doing a Drake one can be really helpful. For semester programs, students pay Drake University tuition and they get their financial aid applied to it. So the scholarship money that you receive from Drake does apply to the tuition um, that you'd be paying. So the amount of tuition that you pay the other semesters at, at Drake is the amount of money that you'd pay during a semester abroad, which is really nice because it helps you basically know much more closely, even early on, what the cost of study abroad is going to be. The part that varies is the room and board and other non-educational fees. Um, so like health insurance is another one that's included in there. So instead of paying room and board to Drake, you would pay the cost of room and board abroad. So depending on where you decide to study, it could be more or less than a semester at Drake. Um, so with those semester programs, you know, if you're thinking about going to London or Singapore or Tokyo, those locations tend to be more expensive than living in Des Moines, Iowa, but there's a lot of locations that are more affordable than, than the living in Des Moines, Iowa. So keep that in mind when looking at semester programs. Um, and then also our office has been awarding more than $100,000 a year in scholarship money for the past few years. So again, just kind of hitting home that applying for scholarships uh, can be really helpful in affording uh, study abroad while at Drake getting started. Um, so we do have a university website, so you'll definitely want to check out our website. We have deadlines listed here. Typically students apply one semester before they go abroad. The exception would be the Drake J-Term programs. You actually typically apply two semesters in advance. If you don't have a passport, be thinking about that early on. Make sure you apply to that um, or renew it if you need a new passport. And then you can also always email us with questions. Our email is studyabroad at drake.edu. Upcoming events. So this entire week, we have study abroad fair activities going on. So this session is just the general study abroad 101 session, but there's more specific programs coming up that are related either to specific programs or specific partnerships that we have. Um, so those will give you more opportunities to learn about specific programs that Drake currently offers. So I want to open it up for questions. Do you guys have any questions for me about study abroad? Yeah, so um, I've always been interested in going abroad, but I was thinking like um, next year, like my sophomore year since COVID and whatnot, but um, next year, like to do a J term and then like my junior year go like abroad. Do you think that's like a good 
like do you think a J term is a good like start to get a feel for what it's like? I do. So actually there's quite a few students who start with doing a J term abroad um, because they're not sure how they're going to feel about being abroad and so they do that kind of as like a test before potentially doing a semester abroad or even another J term program a little bit later on. Um, so I do feel like that's a good way to kind of get your feet in the water to see how you feel about um, taking coursework in an international setting. Um, and so for J term, let's see, it would be J term 2022 is what you'd be thinking about. Um, and we would expect those applications to be opening, um, I believe in March. So if you keep an eye out during the spring semester, uh, we typically have a J term fair. And so I'm guessing that this year it could be online. Um, so keep an eye out for that, just depending on, you know, what happens in the, in the next few months. Obviously, if things improve, it would probably be an in-person event. Okay. Yeah, but I do think that that time frame sounds good. Related to the semester abroad, I would talk with your academic advisor, um, just because depending on your degree plan, it could potentially be better to go abroad a little bit earlier. But usually I feel like academic advisors, if you're planning early, are able to kind of shift courses around just enough that going abroad sophomore or junior year can, can be feasible in a lot of majors. Okay, and for the J term, you just pay the travel, right? Correct. Okay. Yep, so our office works on the logistics piece and most of our J term programs include the cost of airfare, all of the hotels, usually most meals, but it will say on the program how many meals are included. So on some programs, it might just be breakfast every day, but on others, it might be breakfast and lunch um, every day with dinner some days. So kind of just keeping an eye out on the specific programs with how many meals are included. Um, but additionally, usually the site visits throughout the program are also included in like transportation to get to those. So, so like what's the average cost for the average cost varies quite a bit. So our office helps with logistics, both for domestic programs. So previously we've had programs go to Colorado, Florida, Washington, DC. So those programs oftentimes are, I don't know, between 1500 and 2000 when they're domestic. But then when they're international, it also varies quite a bit because if it's in Central America and maybe the flight's not so expensive because students aren't going so far, um, those programs might be 3,500 to 4,000, but some programs, um, like I know we've had a program going to New Zealand, which just the, the cost of the airfare alone, you know, drives up to the cost of the program quite a bit. Um, so on the most expensive kind of side of the range might be, I think about 5,500 was how much that program came out to be. So if you're thinking international, the range could be pretty big, but I would say usually between 3,500 and 5,500 um, for those programs. But I know a lot of students keep an eye on that. So we do have um, programs that we try to keep on that more affordable side of things. So definitely look at the programs when, um, when they come out and when they have the pricing. Okay, so then also when you apply to go on a J term or just to study abroad, is that the same time that you would apply to the scholarships? Or yes, great that? question. So for the Drake scholarships, the application for the scholarship is included within the study abroad application. So when you click apply now on the study abroad program, one of the forms within the application is the study abroad scholarship application. So usually it depends a little bit because there are some different scholarships that you can apply to. So you can complete um, either just one essay or a couple essays if you want to apply to all the scholarships. That's one of the key criteria that we're looking at. So make sure that you write a strong essay when you're applying to the Drake scholarships. That's what the scholarship committee is, um, one of the primary things that they're looking at when evaluating those applications. Um, some of the scholarships also are based partially on financial need. So that's also something that we look at for those scholarships specifically. But there also are national level scholarships that are available. Um, and so it, each one has, of course, slightly different criteria, but I can work with you one on one to maybe identify some other scholarships that would be good to apply to as well. Okay. Um, do you know where the J term is going next year? For the next cycle, um, 
I believe actually because J term 2021, the one that's coming up in a few months was canceled. Many of those programs are rolling over to J term 2022. So the programs, so each faculty was able to decide um, how they wanted to like modify their program or if they needed to cancel it for, for a variety of reasons. Um, so a lot of the programs are rolling over, um, but faculty are still working on, like new faculty are still working on um, submitting some applications for new programs. So I believe if you look on the study abroad website and then you do a program search, you'd be able to see the programs that we had intended on going um, this upcoming January. And so many of those will be, um, we'll still have spots open. And so if you want to look at those and apply to those programs, um, and I think we'll have a few new ones additionally also going in 2022. Awesome. So we'll just apply in March then. Yes. So usually what Drake does is they actually have kind of like a big unveil of the study abroad J term programs that are happening at the J term fair. But of course, this year is just a little bit different with COVID. Um, you know, we didn't want to cancel the programs that students were already interested in and that we had designed. And so it's just a little bit unusual that we're rolling, you know, many of those J term programs to the following J term. But of course, students who are seniors this year, um, you know, they had to withdraw from the J term programs that they were planning on going on in a couple months. So that opened up spots on a lot of the programs. All right, do you have any other questions? No. Okay. Um,